Good afternoon, counselors, Mr. Mayor. Uh, my name is Kenton Grant. I'm here representing our team for BAM, Austin Avenue Multisport. How we got here, uh, 2013 Streets Blog. One more. 2013 Streets Blog named Tulsa the worst city in the United States for having the largest parking crater, the largest expanse of single surface parking in a downtown area. Circled down in the bottom right hand corner, you can see the outline of the Cathedral District and that is the largest expanse of single surface parking. How we got here from there, Type Pros in 2014, their annual street cred competition, they held a street, street cred design competition, soliciting architects, designers, and engineers to come out with a concept of how to revitalize this single surface parking lot just south of TCC. Our group came together with a multi-purpose sports field initially with an open park and some opportunity for businesses. We won the People's Choice Award at Street Cred in 2014. In a last minute ditch effort, the design was submitted to an international design competition through Autodesk, and we won this international design competition. We were represented in Vegas, representing the project meeting with industry sustainable leaders. So what is BAM? BAM is a multi-sport painted turf field uh, intended for soccer, rugby, lacrosse, and ultimate frisbee. BAM is a parking garage that increases on-site parking capacity by 35%. BAM is a park that helps bookend downtown with large seating, water features, bioswales, and a play area for kids, making it a family-friendly area. BAM is retail and education space, offering up to 75,000 square feet of lead core and shell space. And BAM is sustainably driven with geothermal wells, photovoltaics, rainwater collection, living walls and low impact development. <laughs> what we are asking for for BAM is $44 million total project cost. We've secured a $700,000 social equity through sports grant. We believe that on-site utilities and sustainable design will create a net zero utility bill each year. That is a zero operations and maintenance budget back to the city at the end of the year. We also believe with our current preliminary energy analysis numbers that we all have a surplus of geothermal energy which could be used by local businesses and organizations for future developments to come. We also have a partnership with TFSA and local community programs, which will keep the field used all day, every day, 365 days a year for intramural leagues, youth games, and sport clinics. How will BAM engage Tolsons? This is a conceptual design from Hal and Van Kieran that they've offered to do for us, and this is just an image of what the park could look like downtown. This helps create a university quad-like fill for the students, teachers and pedestrians. How will we revitalize the parking crater? This is an image from 1978. This is presumably from Boston Avenue Methodist Church on the southern end of downtown looking north. Notice how there's no parking. In 2005, this is what it looks like now. It's an expansive parking. What we propose is to come in there with our project and redevelop and redefine what the southern end of the IDL loop looks like. This is an opportunity for BAM to create and encourage new businesses and becomes a catalyst for future developments. This image, which I think most people are familiar with, are these kiosks spread out throughout downtown Tulsa. When you look at the Brady District, the darker colored sections, this is a roughly about 35 square blocks. Three of those square blocks are dedicated to parking, just for parking. Now if you look at the Cathedral District, which is roughly 16 square blocks, five of those are dedicated just to parking. That is roughly half the size of the Brady District with over twice as much dedicated parking spaces. So how will BAM enhance the community? By offering intramural leagues, possibly through TCC again, bringing in youth sports programs and sports clinics with this partnership for TFSA, you start driving this economic opportunity for people to be downtown. Uh, businesses like One Oak, One Gas, and Williams most of them have to travel outside of downtown to go play sports, to go down South Riverside to play volleyball and things like that. They're having to leave downtown to go play those sports and do things actively. How will BAM make a positive impact? Through sustainable design technologies, using things like bioswells, uh, creative, innovative uh, paved gen panels, a company out of Europe, which allows you to generate electricity from kinetic energy people playing soccer, people playing rugby and ultimate frisbee will generate electricity. They have a case study, this is proven, they have this on a soccer field already. 
using these technologies helps drive our zero dollar operations and maintenance budget by the end of the year we're not spending anything on water we're not spending anything on electricity we're not spending anything on having to heat and cool the building at the end of the day presentations to date we've met with one million cups Tulsa Home Builders Association uh, TCC Construction Committee Cathedral DSIC East Village District we've met with the low impact development work group everybody is very supportive of the concept and idea of what we're trying to propose today Wait a minute. Thank you. And this is just a list of our supporters and collaborators. Once again, we've been working with a lot of people trying to come up with this concept. This is very much a, a conceptual idea. Our team met out of a kind of high pie in the sky idea for a street cred design competition. There weren't any real big stakeholders there. So we've come up with this idea, but we've been very honest and upfront about this is for the community. This is for the cathedral district. This is for TCC and those churches. And we've been very honest with what do you guys want to see here? And so we're still in the process of meeting with TCC, meeting with the Cathedral District to get buy-in and support from them, to hear them tell us what they want to envision that district to look like. And I do want to give special thanks to these partners right there because they've been donating time, free presentation material, uh, legal advice, and the conceptual drawings. Thank you.